Hey, I'm here in Rutherglen and Hamilton West because for the first time in Scottish history we have a recall petition happening in this constituency and the reason for that is because Margaret Ferrier, the MP, broke the rules. Um, she travelled knowingly when she had Covid and endangered other people in the process. So we're here in Rutherglen and Hamilton West really to encourage people to sign the recall petition. Let's have that by-election. Let's have a fresh start for this constituency with the Labour representative, Michael Shanks. I, I saw a note, she, I think it was over the weekend she put it on the website, but I think nobody noticed it until today. She mentioned that as an independent MP, her constituency is uh, her top priority, uh, and she went on to say somewhere, I do not have any desire or need to play into party politics, which invari inevitably distracts from constituency issues and the needs of local residents. Uh, she says, basically, other parties have spent months as in, I assume you, uh, arguing about who their candidate is going to be and that has disregarded the very real issues in the community. Is she right in that analysis? Have you been distracted and have you from, away from the issues in the community? Look, I'm astonished that Margaret Ferrier, in a desperate plea to constituents, um, is trying to hide the fact that she stood as an SNP MP. Um, she let them down badly by her actions during COVID and now she's desperate to try and cling on to a seat. The truth is, this constituency has not been well represented as a result of that. They need to elect somebody who will provide a fresh start. In our view, that's Michael Shanks. He lives in the constituency. He understands the issues. We're going through a huge cost of living crisis at the moment. People are struggling with rents, with mortgages, indeed with their electricity bills still. Um, and she is the one that is an absolute distraction from a hard-working, decent MP that we believe is Michael Shanks. We're not taking any votes for granted and we will fight for each and every vote in Rutherglen and Hamilton West, but constituents are telling us it is time for a change, it's time for a fresh start. So you're confident in getting over, I think it's a 10% mark, isn't it, of constituents? So you're confident of getting over that mark? I think based on just the conversations we've been having on the doorsteps right the way across the constituency, people are desperate for change. They don't want Margaret Ferrier to be their MP anymore. They want a fresh start. And frankly, you know, I think certainly this morning they've been coming out in number to vote at these polling stations. And I've just been to sign the recall petition into whether Margaret Ferrier should stay as our MP or not. And I think it's such an important decision for people living in this constituency after three years of waiting for this to finally come to this point, people get the chance to decide who represents them. So I, I was happy to sign it today and to see queues of people outside the town hall uh, waiting to sign it. I mean, Margaret Ferrier says that essentially, in a, in a couple of words, she's worked hard uh, in her time as an MP. She made a mistake for which she continued to apologise for. Is there really need for a by-election? Yeah, I think there absolutely is. And if you talk to people here, you can sense the anger of people. Uh, this, this was a serious breach of the rules, reckless behaviour. A time where people all across this constituency put their lives on hold. They didn't get to see loved ones. They didn't get to visit people in hospital. And that anger is just as strong now as it was three years ago. And it, it, although it shouldn't have taken this long to get to this point, it's right now that people get the chance to decide. And, and if people choose not to, then that's up to them. But from, from the people we've been speaking to, um, they absolutely are keen to sign this. Are you confident you'll get over the mark then of 10% of uh, the electorate and trigger a by-election? Yeah, we're, we're confident we'll reach that, but we're, we're talking to people uh, across the constituency just to make sure people do turn out, because although people are absolutely keen to sign it, you've got to physically show up, and of course that threshold uh, is, is more difficult to meet, so we're just making sure people do turn out and vote. You've got six weeks to do it, so there's ample opportunity for people to, to, to get the chance to sign it.